Before you think something seriously has gone wrong, let me tell you that I had a viral throat infection, which I still have some residue of left. Um, so my voice sounds very exciting. So just bear with it. Um, I couldn't wait any longer to just come see you guys uh, and to let you know that I'm a very, very lucky girl. And I am a very loved girl. Um, in the past two days, I have had, oh my God, so much love come my way from every continent possible. My home looks like a garden of Eden. It's just flowers and love and more importantly, you know, all of the you know, prayers and best wishes people have been sending. Oh my God, it's like been overwhelming you guys. Thank you for that. Um, I'm feeling fine. It's just the voice. Um, it's the viral. So please bear with that and don't at all feel like I'm not doing well. I'm doing well. But if I had to wait for the viral to get better, it'll take forever for me to come say hello. To Bantata. I had to come say hi to you before. Listen, guys. So many things have happened to so many people in this last month, um, going into this month, that all we can really do is just count our blessings to be on the other side of what a lot of people have not been able to somehow to be on the other side of. Um, I just wanted to tell you I love you very, 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 very much because from the moment that uh, the health started to go all over the place. I knew that if I were to send out a message to you guys and say, I'm not feeling very well, send me energy, um, that somehow I'll get better. That's exactly what happened, by the way. I shot out that message and love came pouring in. Uh, good wishes came pouring in. You're my kind of people. You know, and that's just something that makes me so very proud to know every day of my life that my life's greatest earning is generation of goodness uh, and generations of fantastic energy. And I love you for that. So thank you again. Now, please bear with me as I thank a very few important key people. Thank you, darling. Um, who made a huge difference to um, getting me here in one piece. Um, and it took an army of people, let me tell you. We come down even more so. Um, so yeah, you better believe it. The best is yet to come. I feel like I'm suddenly glowing. I can't explain it. It's like nothing was stopping that glow before to be there in its entirety and this one stent has brought it back it's like come on something is always going to happen love in our lives but when it does happen if you can wake up on the other side of life then you're lucky and then you're blessed um, so I know a lot of you uh, will stop going to the gym and say no, but see going to the gym didn't help her not good not good it did help me I survived a very very big heart attack it was massive and a 95% blockage in the main artery um, it did because I have kept an active lifestyle. Things happen to our body for many reasons. And we are not doctors and we are not scientists and we don't know everything. But we do know that what is in our hand, we must follow through on that. Okay? We must understand our body. Um, I was never an athlete, so... 
have not monitored my heart my whole life, except that I've known that it's in the right place. Um, and I kid you not, even today, I believe that for what it's worth, it was a face and it passed. And I'm very lucky, like I said, to be on the other side of it. Um, but that doesn't put fear in my heart. It puts a sense of promise, uh, something to look forward to. Uh, so you better believe it. Keep moving, darling. And in these times when very young people are not surviving heart attacks, it is important to keep checking yourself. If there's one piece of advice I'll give you, love, is even if you're very young, which at 47 I do feel strange, but if you're in your 20s or so, most people would tell you it can't be the heart. Don't listen to them. I will run the symptoms by you because the good thing about being on the other side of a heart attack is you felt those symptoms and now it's easier to explain them. Women, it's real. Heart attack is not a men thing. Um, and it's okay. Nothing to be afraid of. But important to be vigilant. Um, so we will run that on another time before I lose my voice completely. But guys, bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you. And yeah, I read all your some 8,000 messages on the post. Um, I don't know how many of my WhatsApp friends and people on different social medias would be watching this live, but I will put it up there. It's just humanly impossible to respond to everybody and my fraternity and loved ones and well-wishers and people from all over the world have sent me the most beautiful messages and I have been reading and in good time inshallah I will get to respond to everybody but I'm just taking it easy for now so please don't be offended if I do not respond or take it to your heart if I don't pick up the call it's just I'm prioritizing my life at the moment um, and it's beautiful to do that so, you guys, watch out. Shortly after my doctors clear me, I will be heading back to Jaipur to finish Arya. And from there, I will up update you and keep you posted. Uh, I have to finish dubbing for Tali voice. I tell you, when it comes, it all comes together. But another beautiful team, uh, Tali's team, Root, producers, the director, Ravisa, Arjun, and Karthik, everyone. Very sweet, very understanding, very kind. It is such a joy to work with people who collaborate with you. Um, they don't just work with you, they collaborate in every sense of the word. I love you guys. Thank you very, very, very much.